Welcome to the Creating Cabby for UIM Dashboards video. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a dashboard. The process consists of three high-level steps. The first step is to create a new ad hoc view. The second step is to create a new report that contains the ad hoc view. And the third step is to create the dashboard and populate it with the report. This is the simplest case, but a dashboard can contain multiple reports. Your requirement might be met by defining a dashboard that contains a combination of out-of-the-box reports and new custom reports. Let's get started by going to the Unified Management Portal homepage. From the UMP homepage, navigate to the CABI Server homepage, which is where we'll create the new dashboard. First, let's create a new ad hoc view. Our new view will contain alarm data, so let's select the UIM domain as our data source. We'll make this a simple view containing alarms only. We can define filters and display options using the wizard or within the designer tool. I'll demonstrate using the designer tool. Click OK and the tool will open. For this view, let's use the table layout. We'll start by locating the alarm severity field. We can add columns to the table by dragging a field from the left pane fields list to the right pane columns field or right clicking the field and using the context menu to accomplish the same result. For this case, let's use the context menu. And now let's add additional fields as columns. To add a filter, we'll start by clicking the field that the filter will be based on, and then click the Create Filter Context Menu option. The filter pane will open in the left margin. So first let's select the desired filter operation, and then select the value the filter will match. For this filter, we'll accept both closed and open alarms and then add a second filter on the alarm level field. This field will not be displayed in the view, but we can still add a filter that tests its value. Let's limit this view to alarms whose level is greater than or equal to 3. And now click Apply to update the alarm data displayed to match the current filters. So now our new ad hoc view is complete. Let's be sure to save it. Next, we'll create the new report. We could return to the CABI server homepage and use the Create option that falls under the Report section on that page, but it will be easier just to use the Create menu option in our Designer window. Let's base this report on the ad hoc view that we just created. And we'll use a custom report template for our new report. For this report, let's use the formatting option to set the background color of the alarm severity column to visually correspond to the severity value of each row. Here we'll use conditional formatting to accomplish this visual cue. So let's first add a condition for the critical severity value. Then continue by adding a condition for the major and minor severity values.
Here, we'll have to type in the minor value since the current table does not contain any minor alarms. And of course, we'll remember to save the new report. And now we're ready to create the new dashboard. This dashboard will be very simple, consisting of a single dashlet that contains our new report. As the instructions in the designer indicate, we'll add our report by dragging it from the available content panel to the canvas. We'll also add one of our report filters to the dashboard to allow users to limit its contents. Filters are also added using the drag and drop operation. Let's use the Dashboard Properties dialog to configure the filter dashlet to be shown as a pop-up. And then let's resize the report dashlet to fill the dashboard by dragging the dashlet top border. Okay, so now let's close the designer and return to UMP where we'll add a page to which we'll add the new dashboard. First, let's add the new page to UMP. Then we'll add the cabby portlet to the page. And now the last step is to configure the cabby portlet to automatically open and display our new dashboard. Our new dashboard is now ready for use. For more detailed information about this product, Click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.